Welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 3 Fest. We did some field research last time, as Yukari called it, and we have the next full moon happening soon, so let's just keep going. I wonder if I can talk to Tanaka now, after I paid him 20k. That's an expensive social link. Oh, okay. I guess I'm pretty good on equipment. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Uh-oh, what now? Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're scamming me. Are you willing to increase your investment by this amount? But I have to do it, right? <laughs> this is such a scam, Tanaka. Why are you like this? You gave the man 10k. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Oh god. This is awful. How much do I have now? 41k. I mean, it's still okay, but... Oh. Speaking of though, I should probably do something about my personas before... Um, am I remembering right? It is the full moon night, right? Oh, it's not. That's tomorrow. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. But I probably should go to the Velvet Room anyway, though. Just to prepare myself. I mean, always better to have strong personas going in. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you today? Are you aware that the moon grows full? Yeah. I am aware. Oh, I could get him. Orpheus and Apsara's back again for Cadenza. <laughs> oh man, I really want to get rid of Jack Frost. Because it's low, but it's one of the personas that can be turned into an item, so I'm curious what happens there. Oberon is definitely my powerhouse right now. Let me look at my compendium. Oh, uh, slime was not bad. It's level 14. Oh! I'm an idiot! It does have the background for the personas. But it doesn't have the backgrounds for the main party members. I haven't been able to find that. Huh. Slime. A primitive monster with a viscous body. There are various theories as to his origin, but it's still under debate. Said to compulsively collect shiny objects. Cool. Oh, I mean, I can see Orpheus here. I want to see everybody else's though, you know? Orpheus. A poet of Greek mythology, skilled with the lyre, he tried to retrieve his wife, Eurydice, from Hades, but she vanished when he looked back before reaching the surface. Yeah. I can see Makoto being very musically oriented. He's always listening to music, and he's done a lot of karaoke. This is cool. I'm just gonna fuse these two away, just to clear some space. Yeah, Chimera. The corresponding social link is at level 3. This persona will receive at least some power from it. Is this persona acceptable? Yes. And I know I have picked up a Chimera in Tartarus. I'm Chimera, the stalwart harbinger of thy victory. The Kendo Team social link infuses Chimera with power. Chimera is about to level up. There we go. So, level 10. Leveled up again, strength, magic, sonic punch. That's the first time I have sonic punch, I think. The Persona Chimera has emerged from the sea of your soul. Cool. Let me go register that. Oh, register all. Yes. They're now registered. Okay, let me go back to Fuse. Now, Chimera, what can you do? Vetala! That's the next one! Except that's level 24. Damn. Okay. I really want to get rid of Jack Frost, honestly. It's taking up space and it's weak. How do I just delete a persona? Let's go to Compendium again. Oberon is so good. Barris. Barris was also really good. What did you have, Barris? Auto Tadu Kaja. Yeah, you were really good. Let me figure out how to release a persona. I might have to do it from the menu, huh? Dismiss. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Yeah, dismiss. Dismiss this persona? Yes. Sorry, Jack. Yomotsu, you are getting real weak now, too. Hmm, auto taro kacha. I don't even think I need you. Pyro Jack is really good. And has Mazio. Auto taro kacha. Sukunda. Nigimitama. I haven't used you. You know what I really want is like a lower defense. I don't remember what it's called. Sukunda, Dekunda, Dekunda, maybe? I need something with that. Where was Barith? Yeah. Okay, I want you back. Oh my god, that's 11k. <laughs> oh god. The money's really hard on me. Yikes. All right, well, I know for sure I want Orpheus and Absaras. <laughs> yes. Here's Orpheus, as you requested. Saras. Um, yes, as you requested. And then I wanted Barith back. Yeah. Do you wish to proceed? 11k, do I want to do it? Yes. Here's Barith, as you requested. Okay. Oh, they don't make it easy. How may I help you? Let's leave. I look forward to your next visit. And I was so happy that I got rich too. <laughs> now I'm not rich anymore. Alrighty, I guess... Yeah, since I can't hang out with Tanaka yet, let's just do a game. Can we stay until midnight? Right now the games are... Oh, punching bag. Oh, these are the stat ones. I remember. Eh, let's leave. Let's do something else. I'm gonna check the club real quick because I haven't been in here in a while. Let's see if there's anything new. Hmm, hey, you're pretty cute for a newcomer. Well, thank you. I heard a bunch of stuff is happening out there. How about it? Is anything happening out there with you? Yes, lots. Oh, cool. Well, not here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to the cafe. Pheromone coffee, 500 yen. A charming flavor that'll turn on your charm. Will you stay until midnight? Yes, I'll do it. Alone this time. Polonia Mall, check out cafe. You enjoy a cup of pheromone coffee. You feel people looking at you. Is this an effect of the coffee? Charm has increased. Nice. I feel like I hadn't gone in there in a while. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. Oh man, thinking about it now, I guess I could have studied last night. What will you do? Sleep earlier. I messed up. <laughs> I thought today was the full moon. <laughs> oh well. I may just have to make it up by going to the library. Yep. You recall the story you heard at the outskirts of the station. You decide to ask the teacher about the missing girl, Fuka Yamagishi, today. Okay. Oh, so this is automatic. Oh, whoa. Yep, that's one of the bullies. Oh, Mitsuru Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoto, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Uh-oh. I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! Ghost Fuka retaliated somehow. Fuka... Right? Wait, you're that girl! Yep. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Whoa. <laughs> That's some voice acting. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. What? I think she needs to speak up. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Well... Fuka, she... Well, we need to know the whole story. She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. And then... I realized she's an honor student, but deep inside, she's just the same as us. She's an honor student, okay. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. Not cool, girl. May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Holy shit. That's fucked up. What? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. 
She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. Well, yeah. She should but be. She never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying on the ground by the gate. So that one was Maki. I went to the gym to let Fuka out. But the door was still locked. Ooh. So I opened it and went inside. But she wasn't there. This is kind of spooky. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing. And they each ended up like Maki. We'll have to find them. Bullies or not. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time, you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. Yeah, why are you covering that up? What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. <laughs> oh, God. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. What if they're involved somehow? I swear, the whole Kirijo group being a part of the school? What if they know something and is purposely keeping this under wraps? You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. It... it was in her best interest. How? I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. Oh, God. So, to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. You tell him, Mitsuru. How despicable. I... I, I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... You're just a coward. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? They all heard a voice. Yeah, I remember her friend did. A creepy voice. In that one scene when Yukari walked by. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man. <laughs> now Junpei's freaked out. Now you know how Yukari feels when you freak her out. Oh, senpai, could it be? them no doubt about it yep the shadows until now there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour oh but it's the voice it draws them in it's not a random phenomenon this whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans mm -hmm. shadows are the enemy of mankind i i just feel like i talked about this a while ago that I thought it was really strange that nobody was saying this is a shadow and dark hour issue when it clearly is. <laughs> and everyone's so hung up on the ghost stuff. Even when so many people at the school know about apathy syndrome. And we know that apathy syndrome is tied to the dark hour. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. Hmm. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room no matter what. Oh. If you can do that much, you should be okay. So she can stay in one of the empty rooms. We have many. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be alright as well. Yeah, so where is she? We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Okay. T tonight Tonight, yeah. We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Huh. Should we check the gym? I don't think we've gotten to go there. Ooh. All set. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. And the other missing people, right? Um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? Inside the school during the dark hour. Then why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. She's trapped there. Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Okay, I was partially right. She somehow got into Tartarus. But this was... Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? But that was ten days ago. <laughs> that means... That's a long time. Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. 
Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? That's a good question. Now that you mention it. Because she can only be trapped there for an hour at a time. This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been 10 days for us, perhaps only 10 hours have passed for her. Whoa, that's interesting. So time moves slower here. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. It is. Maybe she's been able to fight off some things. Can barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? Uh, she does have a persona. That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. We can do it. Are you just gonna let her die then? We won't. I have an idea. Okay. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. Oh, from the gym, where she disappeared. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. That sounds good. Is that really gonna work? I gotta try. Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... But we gotta try. I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. Let's do it, Akihiko. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. No, I'm going. Senpai? He's getting very worked up. All right. I bet he... We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. He's failed to save someone before in the past. That's my guess. I agree. And we won't know until we try. We have to try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> now he's excited. <laughs> in that case... I know just what to do. Really? Have you snuck into the school before? <laughs> Class has ended for today. Wow, I actually get another hangout time. Hmm. What's up, Junpei? Dude, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Just wait until tonight. Okay. Is there... There are no save points during the daytime, right? Okay, well... I get another hangout day. Let me see my condition is good. Anything else new here? Did you hear? Um, I have heard. I don't want to know. Whatever. A man like you has absolutely no chance of getting together with Mitsuru Senpai. Wow. <laughs> just you watch. Since I had that hangout with Kazushi for the points, I should just hang out with him today to rank up. Hey bro, it's time for practice? You gone ahead. What? For some reason, Kazushi does not seem like himself. Since you have Chimera, Persona of the Chariot Arcana, you should get along well with Kazushi. Would you like to go to practice today? I'll go to practice. I'll catch up later. Oh, it's his knee. There's something wrong with his knee. He's not here. Gekokan High School, Gymnasium. The Kendo team is giving it everything they've got. The workout is tough, but fun. You don't see Kazushi. After finishing the training, you decide to go back to the dorm. Wow, what? No way. I have to be ready to rank up with him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Gekokan High School in front of the gate. Hey, Makoto. What's up? I was just gonna sneak into practice. Um, where did you go? My mom kept bugging me, so... Kazushi seems troubled. I went to the hospital. After I told her about my knee, she insisted. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. Well, you should be going. How did it go? Huh, I don't know. Kazushi is getting angry. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all the wrong answers. Man, I appreciate your concern, but... Today, they took x-rays. I'll know the results tomorrow. I don't know why they couldn't have told me today. Oh, hey. Don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, all right? I'm counting on you, Makoto. Uh-oh. If they can't see anything on the x-ray, then maybe further evaluation? That might not be good news, though. I'm always asking you to keep quiet. Sorry about that. Kazushi seems to be appreciative. Your relationship is stronger now. Aww.
Mysterious voice rings in your head. Ah, oh, thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have a blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Chariot Arcana. I got no points with him this time, though. Sad. The Kendo Team social link has reached level four. Your power to create personas of the Chariot Arcana has grown. All right. Today the doctor told me to take it easy, but let's get to practice. Now? I just left. Wait a minute. Since you're leaving, that means practice is over. Exactly. <laughs> oh well. I guess I'll have to go home today. Later, Makoto. Oh. Kazushi's left. You decide to go back to the dorm. Okay, so I do get a save point here. Hmm. Do I? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. What's wrong? I can't get a hold of the chairman. Uh oh. I guess we can handle it ourselves. I hope so. There's one problem though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. Junpei has an idea. He's saving it for now. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Now spill. Set to go. An explosive? What? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. Are you serious? <laughs> He's gonna blow up an entrance? We don't have time to waste. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Junpei. An explosive? For real? How'd you even get your hands on that? Nah. All I did was unlock a door. Oh. <laughs> did you pick a lock or something? See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Okay. Is that really something to brag about? He's obviously done this before. So you unlocked it early. Oh. Scrape, yeah? <laughs> that sounds less cool, but no time for compliments. Let's go. Whatever works. Akihiko is very focused. What's the big deal anyway? It is a big deal. Someone's missing. Or could be dead. Or could be a ghost. Trey Pan, <laughs> what's that mean? Trey Pan is very good, right? I don't know French, I'm sorry. That's not English, is it? Nope. It's French. Oh, the classroom. Uh, can we turn on the lights? <laughs> That's usually my question. Oh, are you scared? Okay, I'm not making fun of you, Kari. It's just something that became a running joke with my friends who are horror fans. That I'm always the one ruining the vibe by asking stuff like, Why not just turn on the damn lights? If nothing's happened to the power. No! But... Stupe. Stupe. Stop calling me that! In this case, I can't blame Boy. them though. If they turn on the lights, people will know that somebody's there. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. Well, there you go. I don't like sneaking around. But we have to. First, we have to find the key to the gym. Akihiko and I will check the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. All right. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway. Got it? it sounds good. The faculty office, huh? Why are you talking like that? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> oh, God. I don't think this is the time for that. Maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. What? <laughs> you want to look at test answers too? Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? <laughs> yes. If so, then expect to be severely punished. Yes, as in they are, not me. It, it was a joke. I'd never do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would. Come on, Mitsuru. Line up a little. Says the person who is taking this the most seriously. Aside from Mitsuru. Fine. Let's head over to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. Okay. And we're checking the faculty office. Uh, looks like it's you and me. Yukari. All right. Let's get this over with. Let's go. Oh. Wow. All of a sudden it seems like I'm playing a horror game. Spooky. And it's very quiet too. Hmm. 
Is there anything to check around here? Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> it's the men's room. Oh, hi, can you use the restroom? Oh, never mind. Can't you hold it? Fine, but hurry up, okay? Oh. <laughs> it's like a pee break in the middle of a ghost hunt. But when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Your body's in average condition. <laughs> I just had to check. All right, main hallway here. Do you hear that? I only hear dogs. Oh, footsteps. Yeah. Th there's someone else here. I guess. Is it Shinjiro? I forgot his last name already. Cause he knew we were investigating this. The footsteps faded away. Okay. Ooh. Who was that? Uh, it's just a security guard. Okay. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> Let's hurry. I know. Ooh. Ah! Who's calling you? My cell phone? Why now? Um, just pick up maybe. Figures. Oh. Spam. Okay. I hate spam. <sighs> Sorry about that. It took me by surprise. <laughs> you were so cute. <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> okay. It's not funny. I know. <laughs> I just want to see her reaction. Okay. Main lobby. Um. Oh, right. Faculty office. It's over here. Anything else we could check while we're here? Midterm exam. <laughs> you did fairly well. Now let's leave. Faculty office is this one. No one seems to be in the office at the moment. Enter. Oh, it's unlocked. Hmm. No, no. It's so dark. I can barely read these. Why didn't we bring flashlights? What does it say on this one? Or you can use your cell phone to light it. Jim. Really? Let me see. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yeah, this is it. Mind if we borrow this? Um, I say yes. <laughs> Obtain Jim Key. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet them in the main hallway. Yep, that's correct. Main hallway. This is quite spooky. Hey, everyone. Did you find a key? Yeah. Sure did. There it is. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Oh god. <laughs> what? You actually did? I was just kidding. It was from earlier. You want to make something of it? It was her cell phone. Keep it down. <laughs> we'll divide into teams again. Oh no, can't we just all- Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Oh. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. Okay, three people, I guess that's doable. I'll go. Alright. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Yeah, I figured I'd be going. Um, then I'll be the third. What's wrong? Wait a second. Oh, he wants to be in it. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, it's all good. I've already put it behind me, actually. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. You kind of ran off on your own. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. Okay. Sweet, thanks. Just don't do that again, please. What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? She wants to go? Oh, she's probably spooked out more if she waits here. Um, no, it's fine. Hmm. It's almost time. Okay. So it's going to be a boys team again. Well, I've had experience with that. 
from the last last Tartarus run. Oh, this is um Hi. Natsuki. I only just noticed that she had a name. She was always brunette before. Oh, she's awake during the dark hour. I'm all alone after all. Fuka. I'm glad at least she's worried about Fuka and feels guilty. Ooh, Fuka's haunting her now. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. She said, "I don't want to hear this." Calling me. I, I have to go. Oh, now she's being leered too. Tell her I'm sorry, Fuka. Whoa, <laughs> this is getting crazy. Um. Okay, so the girls are staying here. We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh. Uh, are you alright, Yukari? She's been acting kind of off. Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki. I hope she's okay at the dorm. She's not. <laughs> Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here. And one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, but she just got leered away. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. hmm. I thought Yukari was just scared, but now I'm not so sure. But we're all here for Fuka's sake. Oh. There he is. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Are we? What? We're already separated? Akihiko, come in, Akihiko. That means I'm separated from him. Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. What's going on? Shit, we all are separated. Damn it. You open your eyes. Your mind feels fuzzy. You wonder where you are. Well, this looks- Are you awake? Oh, God. Damn, that fucking kid. Uh, yes. This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. It is. It's a little less creepy, but still creepy nonetheless. Why are you here? Where are the others? Don't worry. You'll see them soon. That sounds very threatening. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. More than one? There are two bosses? You should hurry. She's waiting for you. Okay. You guys will need her. Fuka. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. I, I don't know if I should hope that, but okay. Fuka, she's going to join us. She has to. But we have to figure out if she's a zombie or not. Oh, this is crazy. Communications breaking up. Are you all right? Distance too far. Can't provide backup. You got from Akihiko. We got separated. Communication has been lost. Oh man. Arca. Question mark floor. Yikes. All right. Oh, am I just supposed to fight through here alone? Oh my god. Medicine. This definitely is a floor of Tartarus. Oh. Communication is breaking up. Akihiko and aren't on this floor. Who's there? Mysterious voice? Are you human? Communication has been lost. Whoa. This just got trippy. That must be the voice that all the victims are hearing. I'm just going to pick up all the treasure chests. Pretty sure I have to find the stairs up. At least I can ambush them and then escape if I need to. Whoa! This is new! Oh no! I can't use tactics and analyze it! I wonder if it's really strong. Let's see. Try bash. 
Oh, it is kind of strong. Do I really want to um, use up my HP and SP though? Double fangs. Let's just try it. If this doesn't work out, I'll run from everything else. Slash attack. Double fangs. You should kill it. Cool. All right, 27 XP. Um, yeah, let me just use some items. Oh, there it is, the stairs. They said they were not on this floor, so I'm just gonna go up. Communication is breaking up. What's your current location? Reply immediate immediately. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. Yikes. That's gotta be Fuka. The one calling out to everyone. What if I just hit all these and then... Whoa, that looks crazy. I don't know if I want to take that on. Let me run. I want to find my party members first. I just gotta be careful not to get ambushed. Communication is breaking up. Can you hear me? Please answer. I'm trying! Is someone there? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just wandering this area. Oh, treasure chest. Medicine? Okay. Are they on this floor though, I wonder? Um, there's the stairs, but... Shoot, I don't want to miss them if they are on this floor. Oh god. Oh, this is easy. I should probably be able to attack this. Yeah. Like pierce damage to one foe. Nice. That's an easy enemy. Okay. Here. Snuff soul. Okay. I guess that's it. They're not on this floor. Let me just head back to where the stairs are. Whoa. Alright. Should I use another medicine? Just in case. Let's go up with full HP. This is definitely a different experience than the last full moon. It feels like another... Oh! They're here! No, that's not them, is it? They're just standing still. Oh, it is them. Whew. Hey, here he is. <laughs> yes. Man, we were worried about you. Oh, I'm here. I'm okay. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you hear a voice while you were in here? I did. Uh, kind of like. Who is this? Are you human? Yeah. There it is. That's it. That's the voice! That definitely is a female voice. It sounded like it came from behind us. It's Fuka. Is that Fuka? Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Is that her? Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Do they know what she looks like? I've never seen this girl. Never fear, June pays here. <laughs> oh god. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. Come with us. Thank you so much. Oh, that's her portrait. Huh, I've actually never seen this character design before. I've seen some characters in the game, but not that one doesn't look familiar. Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Okay. Well, I guess that's why we came in a group of three. Where I was at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Yeah, I feel like we came in a team of three so that she could join. But then what about you, Kari? Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. Yeah, her communication hasn't been great. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Not that it's her fault. Have you uh, run into any monsters? Um, I hope not. So there are strange creatures in here then. You haven't seen any shadows? 
Are you kidding me? I've managed to avoid them so far. Oh. Well, you're doing pretty damn good then. Are you serious? <laughs> How's that possible? My reaction exactly. Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. Really? What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has a connection with them. She has the same power as Mitsuru. Ah, is she Navi? Maybe even stronger. A navigator party member? Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Oh. I guess that would explain, well, story-wise, that would explain why Mitsuru hasn't been doing so well. Because her persona is not really meant to be doing that. Hang on to this. The communication stuff. <gasps> but, but this is... What is that? Think of it as a lucky charm. Oh. It's not really a gun. The evoker that they made for her. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Huh. Wow, look at that scenery. Whoa, check out the moon. Yeah. I've never seen it so bright. Yep, and yellow. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Of course, the same can be said for humans. Mm-hmm. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Let's not go there. <laughs> hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? It was. Was it? It was. I think so. Why? Did you guys not notice? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Yes. It was full. Mitsuru, are you there? Actually, I don't know if Makoto saw it, but there definitely was a cutscene showing the full moon. Oh shit, are you okay, Mitsuru? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in. She can fight. Right? She has to. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! Uh-oh. What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone. She's sensing the shadow that's attacking her. Damn it. Can we go there? What's going on? It's one of them. If my guess is right, they come every full moon. Yep. We have to hurry. I guess I'm a little ahead because I get visited by the hey, hey, wait for me. mysterious boy <laughs> who warns me about the full moon. Oh shit. Her bike. Oh no! Whoa! There's two of them. <laughs> They're designs, man. Mitsuru. Yikes! Uh, uh. Oh god, we gotta save her. Come on. What's going on? Nothing's working. They're like a royal couple. Oh shit! They look pissed. Oh no. Hey, isn't that what is she doing here? Why the hell is she here? Shit. F Fuka. She's being controlled. Moriyama san. Moriyama. Oh, she knows her, right? Wait, what are you doing? Please get out of here. It's dangerous. Oh my god. to tell you I'm sorry that would be nice except for the fact that she looks like she's being controlled oh wait that's not a weapon does she know what to do with it I know she knows are we gonna see an awakening wow this is awesome Ooh. Holy shit. Damn, Fuka. That's your persona? That's amazing. We never got to see anybody else's awakening, so... That was very nice to see. It protected them. Mitsuru! That looks amazing! I wonder what it's called. 
I'm all right. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. So no physical? And all of our instruments have been destroyed. Yikes. Just stay still. Besides. Oh. Look at Akihiko. So caring. I can see. Oh. Looks like it's Fuka's turn. Is that the voice? I I can sense these monsters' weaknesses <gasps> somehow. She really is gonna be our main Navi. For real? Right? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. Oh my god. You know, that would normally sound awful, except I get it now. Yamagishi, can you assist the others? Except it makes sense here. I'll do my best. Let's go, guys. Stay back, Mitsuru. We'll take care of this. I hope Mitsuru can join us then, like as a physical party member at some point. Here we go, boss battle? Ooh. God, I love all the designs of the shadows. It's so crazy. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Okay. As in now? Can I do that now? Fuka, full analysis on I don't know, Emperor, I guess. Akihiko okay, and Junpei. Wow, we really only have three party members. Um Well they said normal attacks won't work, so does that mean I have to do Magic? Let's try. Barret. Oh, hello. You're weak to fire. But it blocked that one. Okay. So that one's weak to fire. Yeah, let's do an all-out attack. And the other one is weak to cleave. I wonder if it's weak to all physical. It is. It has multiple weaknesses. Oh man. Okay. So they're just opposites. I, I didn't know I had this kind of power. Well that's good. You're discovering yourself. I've been waiting for this. Let's go. This it can't be this easy. Right? Oh, Magaru. No. <laughs> Damn it. We don't have Yukari here to take that. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, um, I need to heal somebody. Actually, let me go to tactics and make Akihiko do heal support. You can heal Junpei. And I will go ahead and do Agi on Emperor. Yeah. Because we know it's weak. Okay, and then the other one was weak to... Physical? It was all physical. Yep. That's the way. <gasps> that one's dead. Let's go. Okay. No. I have a hard time believing this is the boss battle. That was amazing. Thank you. You're amazing too. Oh my god. Look at all the XP that only the three of us got. Or four. <laughs> Yukari, I'm so sorry you're not here with us. And we had a fourth spot open too. Oh. Yuki felt a surge of energy inside. You're now able to create personas up to level 16. That is awesome. Was that really all? Is it done? Are there more of them? I don't know. Don't worry, it's over. Oh, it is. Fuka, you... Uh, are you alright? Yeah. Okay, so she's back to her normal self. Thank goodness. It seems like. Uh-oh. Fuka? Yeah. It's alright, she's just exhausted. She just awakened to a persona. Fuka? Fuka... I... Oh man. Where did these two shadows come from? I hope maybe they can be friends, you know? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. 
outside of Tartarus, yeah. I see. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the dark hour and the shadows. Yeah, that must be so trippy for her as a normal person. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. Okay. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. I wonder how about her friend? But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That sucks. That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. Really? I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. I guess she feels guilty enough. I think she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry. Fuka seems like such a nice person. She'll probably forgive her. It wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. Wow. Your team survived another dangerous fight. Wow, you know what? I don't know if it's just me, but that mini boss that I, um, that I had to fight in Tartarus, that was so much harder than this boss. It seems like the trust between you all has grown. You learned a new tactic. You can now use knockdown. Ooh, interesting. You wonder about the mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seem to be more than just his dreams. You're too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. You decide to rest as soon as you get back to the dorm. Damn, but I really enjoyed that though. It was definitely not what I expected. It turned into a horror game for a bit. You've become tired, of course. I really appreciated the spook factor. Especially playing through all the ghost stuff around Halloween. Which will be over by the time this is uploaded, but you know what I mean. Hey, I was thinking. Do you think Mitsuru-senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? Of course. Or was it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? Hmm... Maybe a combination of both? For the right reasons. I guess so. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Hmm. I think it's both. Mitsuru is more logical, but Fuka was in trouble. Akihiko definitely wasn't gonna let that slide. Hmm. Lunchtime already? Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Makoto-sama, you're coming to the fashion club, right? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> you will have fun if you come to Z Home Economics Room after school. You don't have to if you are busy, though. I hope to see you there. Bibi seems excited. Maybe you should join him after school. Maybe. I haven't decided. Oh, he's the only person who approached me. Okay. Class has ended for today. Wow. And now back to normal life. So crazy that just yesterday, we were roaming around the school at night. Kenji's available. Kazushi's available. I felt like I spent a bunch of money on <laughs> resurrecting these personas for nothing. Oh my god. Oh! It's June 9! This is the day that the antique shop's supposed to open. Which means I can maybe get rid of some of these? I'm gonna go check that actually. Yes, let's go. To the mall. Oh, there's people here again. Oh, this freaking kid. Okay, hang on. I won't talk to you just yet. Uh, did you hear? That, uh, what was it? The apathy syndrome? There was a victim at GeckoCon. He was friends with my son's senpai. A victim in your own neighborhood? Oh my. Guess we can't say it's none of our business now. My son's teacher's relative's sons. Wow. <laughs> what a mouthful. Calligraphy master caught apathy syndrome too. Oh, the old guy is here. I know this guy from when I was your age. He's a grave digger. He told me, when you die, I'll dig you a fine big grave. That's morbid. It was nice of him. Good friends are a blessing. They really are. <laughs> How are you doing? To start the game, insert one coin, control it using the two buttons, and what are you looking at? I'm not just reading the directions. I'm carefully planning my moves. Okay, you do you. Antique shop. <gasps> it is open. Yes. Whoa! This place looks cool! 
Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me you're fighting against the shadows. Oh, so you're in on it too now. To the public, this is merely an antique shop, but privately, I create weapons. They're not ordinary equipment, however. My methods involve fusing weapons with personas. But you'll need a material to assist in the process, such as Nile Sword or Nile Gloves. Oh. I'll give you one for free to start out with. Here you go. Obtain Nile Sword. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The Golden Shadows carry such materials. Okay, so I need materials. Damn it. There's another thing you should know, though I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on the persona you use in the fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. Ah, I nearly forgot. If you bring me the jewels, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. Oh, okay. I have jewels. Sword of Page. Oh, so these are these are stat boosters for personas. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll do any quite yet. That's pretty nice. Trade for item. Purifying rice. Items needed. Okay, so I need those jewels to make these items. Wow. Talk? Fusing weapons with personas is a very simple process. You need two items for a successful fusion. First, a metal material, and second, a persona. You can intensify a fused weapon's strength by fusing another persona with it. The fused weapon's abilities are determined by the persona. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, what can I fuse? Well, I have this. Ah. Whoa. They all get Mother Saber, Mother Rapier. But are the stats different? Attack is one. Attack is 52. Aha. Attack is 68. Wow. What was it about Pyro Jack that was special? A basic fuse saber. Ready on... Do I want to get rid of Pyro Jack though? Damn, attack is 78. That's really good. Oop, hang on. No, no, not yet. I wanted to see what these do. 78. Poison resist. That's really good too. Nikki Mitsama. Auto Raku Kaja. Oberon. Oh, damn. That makes a really good sword. Maybe I'll get rid of the Chimera. I mean, the Yomotsu Shikome. I haven't had to use it for a while. Attack 78 is really good. Let's do it. I've never made a weapon like this before. Are you satisfied with the Mother Saber? Yeah, sure. You can pick it up in one day. Okay. Let's leave for now. One day. Hmm. That was my hermit, though. Oh, well. I'll get another hermit. Whoops. Before I talk to that kid, I do want to go back to the school and talk to people first. I just want to see if there's anything new happening around here. Are people still talking about ghosts? Have you heard that crazy rumor that's going around online? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up at a website. Yikes. <laughs> that's dangerous. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Wild Duck Burger. Okay, I still haven't seen your boyfriend. It's nice to see that the lost people are disappearing again. At least at the mall. We're making a difference and it shows. What are you doing here? When I think of home economics, I think about cooking experiments and that kind of thing. I hear that some people burn their textbooks by accident by setting them too close to the stove. Yikes. What about the rude guy at the sink? I'm getting bored of text messaging. I guess it's good to be in touch with so many people, but pretty soon I'm going to get totally bored of it. <laughs> really? Once you lose interest in this kind of thing, you can't get it back. I feel like most people text way more than actually talking on the phone these days. I can't really blame them though, because text is just more convenient when you're in a place where you can't talk. When I'm able though, I usually prefer phone. It's faster and better for getting things done. And so much tone gets lost in text. Nothing new happening with this tree. Okay. 
Hey, I saw this girl last time in front of the station. She was wearing a frilly white dress. It was like a white goth. Isn't that the gothic lolita style? Isn't it getting hot to be wearing these kinds of clothes? Some people like it. She must be seriously devoted to her look. Didn't somebody at one of the train stations mention that? This girl, I mean. There's no way I could pull that off in this kind of weather. Yep, it takes dedication. Oh, Chihiro is available. BB. Remember what I told you? They just fainted because they were out all night. That's not exactly apathy syndrome. Okay, all the stories are changing now. I heard those people who fainted woke up. So I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? <laughs> just be glad that everything's okay. And I believe I am tired, right? Yes. So I'm gonna go get some courage. Erogawa, I feel like I've come to you so many times. How can I help you? Well now, what do we have here? You seem unwell. Is it a wound, a virus, a curse, or is it love? Alrighty. The most bizarre smell that you've ever encountered in your life is drifting out of the bottle. Will you drink it? Of course. After drinking the concoction, your condition doesn't seem to be any better. Phew, well done. Whether or not you get better is inconsequential. You survived. Cheers to your bravery. Sorry to have deceived you. Your courage has increased. Yes. The silver lining of being tired. I think I'll go hang out with BB since he actually approached me. So hopefully that means that we can rank up. This home economics room. Since you have Nigimitama, a persona of the Temperance Arcana, you should get along well with BB. Would you like to spend some time after school in the home economics room? Yeah, let's do it. You've decided to spend some time in the home economics room. <laughs> there we go again, sewing. Gekko-kan High School, home economics room. Two sewing machines buzz steadily in zinc. You're having a good time hanging out with BB. Let's take a break now. Okay. Makoto-sama, you've gotten so much better at these. Subarashi, wonderful. Uh, thanks. I'm probably just good at everything. I have to get better too. I'm glad to have such a great friend, Tomodachi, as my rival. Rival? What? We're rivals in what? Sewing? <laughs> okay, he's at least happy. Makoto-sama, I would like to make something Japanese, but what? Mmm... I don't know. Whatever you like. Something traditional, maybe. Traditional. Maybe a kimono. That's what I was thinking, a kimono. BB seems excited. It has to be a kimono, but that is very hard to make. I don't know, ow. Plus, it is expensive. The fabric can be expensive, but... The sewing? You can do it. Hmm, I will think about it. Arigato. Thank you for the advice. Makoto-sama, you are the only one I can talk to here. Because I can put up with your weird manner of speech and needing to translate everything. You are so nice. I try. Bibi seems truly grateful. Your relationship is stronger now. Awesome. Mysterious voice rings in your head. That was a very quick hangout. Thou art I and I'm thou. Thou shalt have a blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Temperance Arcana. Very nice. The transfer student social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Temperance Arcana has grown. I was ignoring this guy too long in the beginning. Oh, look at the time. I must go home now. You decide to go back to the dorm. Well, I'm glad he's happy. Oh, hey! Hey! Mitsuru-senpai and Akihiko-senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. Oh, I wanna go! I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Ikutsuki-san told me that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is open now. I already went, because I made a note of it in my notebook. So I checked it out already. Maybe we should go check it out sometime. You should come with me then, right? <laughs> Okay, I am gonna end the video here because it's gone quite long, but we got a lot done. We made it through the next full moon. I really enjoyed the horror vibe of this full moon event. It makes me so excited to see what the next one's gonna be like. 
There was a part of me that thought that the full moon events were gonna all be on the monorail. <laughs> but this was really cool. And we officially got a new party member. So yeah, again, this is your jam. You can hit like to give the video a boost. And of course, subscribe if you want to keep following me on my journey. I'll see you next time.